Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are so excited to open this rare Disney's Magic Kingdom Castle playset with Dumbo the Flying Elephant and Peter Pan's Flight playset accessories. We have the entire set. Look at how tiny the little characters are. They're so tiny they could get lost fairly easily. We're going to be very careful when we open the boxes. Tiny Treasures Minnie, help me unwind each wire. And look who snuck in the empty box. Silly kitty. <laughs> it took us about half an hour to finally build the set. There is so much detail and so many different rides to explore today. We begin with Mickey Mouse and he's riding the train. He's the driver today. The train operates all of the rides with its spinning wheels. We have a boy and a girl character. We have Wendy, Peter Pan, and a teeny tiny Tinkerbell. You don't realize how tiny she is until you compare her to my finger. Next we have Minnie Mouse in her red polka dot dress. Daisy Duck is beside her. There are three princesses. Do you know which princesses they are? We have Aurora, Belle, and Cinderella. Let's start the train. Uh-oh! One of the cars came off the back and is now stuck in the front of the train. Let's fix it. The princesses are riding the teacups today. As they spin, they wave at Mickey on the train. Daisy and Minnie are on the Dumbo the Flying Elephant ride. Peter Pan and Wendy ride on one of the ships together on Peter Pan's flight. How about we dance around the garden in Alice in Wonderland? Or we can control a little remote boat out in the pond. Splash Mountain is my favorite ride in Disneyland. Up you go in the Tomorrowland Rocket Ride. Or spin the King Arthur Carousel. Push the barrel to make Minnie or Daisy bounce on the trampoline. Whee! When the train pulls into the station, Mickey waves goodbye and the little yellow birdie spins. It's time to clean up. There's a little pink drawer in the castle to store all of our little characters. This way nothing will get lost. Do you know which ride Tinkerbell was on today? Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today Kitty is joining me and I am so excited. There are some toys that I find that I was like, I never knew this existed. And it's the Mega Blocks, the wonderful Wizard of Oz playset. And I love it. I absolutely love it. It comes with five characters. It lights up. It plays music. Let's get started. As you all know, Dorothy is the main character in The Wizard of Oz. And she has her dog, Toto. And when she lands in Oz, she gets the ruby slippers. But her slippers aren't red, so let's make them red with the red light. Turn it on. Ooh, and you can see the lights glowing and you can see the red light shining through the clear part where her shoes are. 
and it makes them look red, like ruby slippers. Kitty likes the lights. And now she's ready to go down the yellow brick road where she meets her friends. Do you remember who she runs into first? Well, she starts to pick up apples off the ground and she meets the scarecrow and he's missing his brain. So let's see what part of the scarecrow lights up. Now, if you look very carefully, you can see a blinking red light on his nose. The scarecrow joins Dorothy to head to the Wizard of Oz to meet the wizard. But first, they run into the next friend. It's the Tin Man. And he needs a heart. Look, his little heart glows. It looks like it's beating in his chest. We can see it better if we turn the lights off. And the three of them continue on the yellow brick road, but they run into the wicked witch. Hee <laughs> The witch has blue skin on the toy, but green skin in the movie. Her little mouth lights up and it makes it look like she's talking. <laughs> the wicked witch disappears and they continue on into the woods. And do you know the last friend they meet? Let's check behind the pink door. It's the lion, and he needs courage. Let's put the lion on the light. His medal of courage he received from the Wizard of Oz glows. Well, they reached the Emerald City. Let's turn the set around and show you the yellow brick road that folds down and there are places for the characters to stand. And what I love most about this set is there's a beautiful rainbow. Remember Dorothy sings somewhere over the rainbow? At the beginning of the movie. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Well, I hope you enjoyed exploring this toy as much as I did. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with Ariel and she's in a beautiful Barbie of Swan Lake Castle. It's a very rare toy. And we just had it set up for our Dolls and Treasures video. Can you see any pictures of swans? Swan Lake is a famous ballet. And Barbie later made a movie about Swan Lake. I see some candlesticks and a pink clock. When Ariel's cold, she stands by the fire, but not too close. She loves to read books. Look at the blue fairy. There's a special surprise. It looks like Elsa's wand from Frozen. And next to the bookshelf is the vanity with a little pink stool. This is where Ariel gets ready and brushes her hair. Let's have a look at the bedroom. Ariel has a little bed that folds down from out of the wall. There's another picture of the blue fairy. It's the perfect size for Ariel. The fairy is sitting on a flower called a lily. Above her bed is a cage with a dove. Let's open up the door and release the dove so it can fly up into the sky. Here is the bigger bed. It's the same color as Ariel's little bed. And what's so magical about this bed is underneath it also transforms into a pink bathtub. 
Ariel loves to take a warm bath. It's so relaxing. She likes to put in bath bombs and bubble bath. What's inside the cabinet? Oh, it's empty, but up above, towels and flowers and another fairy. How many fairies did you see today? Oh, Ariel's friends have arrived and they have all brought gifts. We have Bluey, Abby, and she brought a big plate of fresh fruit. Peppa Pig brought flowers for the table. It's time to sit down at the big pink sparkly table and enjoy some fruit and drink some lemonade. And after their snack, they go outside and enjoy the beautiful yard where there are many different kinds of animals. What animals do you see? Peppa Pig is looking at the squirrel while she's on the swing. Did you spot the skunk and the little mouse? They were over by the three stumps. Did you know there was a picture of the skunk and the mouse inside the castle? Did you see where they were? If not, you can go back and have a look. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Bluey, Baby Margaret, Peppa and Elsa are going to go on a magical toy egg hunt through a beautiful big undersea castle. Bluey gets to find her egg first. Where do you want to look, Bluey? Over here, okay? Hmm, not here. Let's go check someplace else. Not over here. What about if we open this up? It might be in there. Let's check. Bluey, it is in here. Let's open it up further. Ooh, why don't we go show it to Elsa, Baby Margaret, and Peppa? Okay. Now we just need to find ours. We'll open all ours up at the end. Okay. All right, who's next? Me, me. All right, Peppa, let's go. Do you really think we should go to the second level? Yep, I have a feeling my egg is up there. All right, let's go. Hmm, I don't see it anywhere up here, Peppa. Maybe we should try going inside. Good idea, let's go. Wow, it's nice in here. Yeah, sure is. Do you see your egg? Not yet. <gasps> there it is. Ooh, it's pink. Nice color. Oops, sorry Peppa, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. We just need to be extra careful when we're on a terrace. You're right, although is this a terrace? I'm not sure, but nonetheless, we need to be careful. You're right, all right, let's go bring this to the girls, okay. Oh yay, I'm glad you found yours. Two down, two to go. All right, I'm next. Wish me luck, guys. Good luck. Ooh, a frozen ice slide. I like it. Or is this water? I'm not sure, but maybe we should try gluing up it. That could be dangerous. You're right. Let's take the stairs. Okay. This is where Peppa found her egg. I don't see yours here. Yeah, why don't we check the next floor? Good idea. Ooh, let's go up these stairs. Wait, Elsa, 
What is that? You're right, it's my egg, yay. Ooh, it's green, nice. All right, let's go bring it down to the girls. Good idea. All right, you guys, you only have one more egg to find. Whose turn is it now? Mine, mine. All, but, all right, maybe, Margaret. Where should we go? Hmm, I was thinking maybe the top deck. Why there? I don't know. It's the one place you guys haven't been, so I feel like my egg should be there. All right, to the top deck we go. Wow, the top deck is far, but we'll get there. Let's go. Be careful going up the stairs, baby Margaret. I will be. All right. <gasps> There's your egg. Yay, let's go bring it down. Okay. Just be careful. Oh, no. Where did the egg land? Do you see it? Oh, well, there it is. Okay, don't lean over the edge, baby Margaret. It's dangerous. Carefully climb down the stairs. Okay. And we can go to the second floor and get it. Okay, good idea. Let's go. Good job, baby Margaret. You chose the safe way. Yep, the safe way is the safe way to go. <laughs> All right, let's bring this down to the girls and carefully. Good idea. All right, who's going to open their egg first? I think baby Margaret should because she was the bravest today. You're right. I agree. All right, baby Margaret. Let's open your egg and see what's in it. Okay. Oh, cute. It's a little puppy dog doll. I think it's a princess because it's wearing a crown. That's so cool. Are you going to take this home, baby Margaret? Yep, I sure am. I can sleep with it. Good idea. All right. Who's next? Um, well, we could go in order in a line. Good idea, Peppa. Why don't you go? Okay. Oops. Are you okay, Peppa? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. All right. Oh, look at this. It's a rainbow corns egg. Cool, and it has a little horn sticking out of it. Oh yay, I can't wait to open this at home. All right, Elsa, it's your turn. Yay. Oh, it's beautiful. What is it? It's a fairy statue, and the girl, the fairy, she's holding a gem. Like a crystal. Oh, I can't wait to put this in my garden. That's gonna be so cool, Elsa. All right, Bluey, you're in class. All right, let's see what I got. Hmm, is this another egg? I don't think so. Take it out. What does it say? It's Silly Putty. Silly Putty, I love Silly Putty. I can't wait to go home and play with this. Well, did you guys have fun? We had lots of fun, definitely. All right, well, thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are on the beach and the red ants are hard at work. We are joined by two special friends. We have Rapunzel and Queen Elsa. They're going to have a play date at Elsa's new castle today. But first they wanted to invite a special water friend. Here she comes now. It's Ariel. Hi, Ariel. Rapunzel and I were wondering if you wanted to see my new castle and have a play date today. Oh, well, thanks for the invite, Elsa. But I already have plans. I'm spending time with my family today. Maybe another day. See you later. 
Ariel swims off into the ocean. Goodbye! Have fun, you two! Rapunzel and Elsa walk through the grass to the castle. They enter a hallway. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Rounded ceilings, white walls, beautiful furniture. There's even elevators. Boy, this must be a big castle. Let's push the call button and head downstairs. They can hear the elevator arriving. The door to the left opens up. Push zero. That will take us to the main floor. Elsa shows Rapunzel one of her favorite parts of the castle, the beautiful curved staircase. And if you look down the middle, you'll see a water fountain down below. Wow. To the left of the staircase, is where Elsa spends most of her time reading her books. Elsa is one lucky queen. Thank you for the tour, Elsa, and thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye! Tiny Treasures and Toys Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here visiting Ariel and she's got a beautiful dress on. Her pal Flounder is right behind her. Sebastian. And there is Prince Eric's dog, Max. Woof, woof. Oh, and there's a beautiful blue water slide. A pool and uh-oh, Ursula. She's hiding underneath the castle. And she stands beside a statue of Prince Eric that's under the ocean. Ariel loves to spin in her gown. Today she's going to change into her pink gown. It's hiding in her closet. These are called magic clip dresses. Let's use a little camera magic to change Ariel. have a little pink purse to match her pink dress. It's in the shape of a shell. Uh-oh, Flounder needs to get into water right away. Fish don't breathe air like humans. They need water to breathe using their gills. They can only survive out of water for a few minutes. Flounder's going to use the water slide. Let's make sure it's safe. Do you see Ursula anywhere? It looks like she's gone for now. There's a pool to catch Flounder. Here he goes. Whee! Max the dog loves water, but not all dogs love water. He's going to join Flounder too. Woof! Woof! Okay, tiny fans, it's time for us to go. But before we do, did you spot the Dora backpack hiding somewhere earlier in the video? If not, go back and have a look. We sure hope you enjoyed our video today. We're here to ask our fans for some help. Did you know only 15% of our fans have subscribed to Tiny Treasures? So you can help us by pushing the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us get recognized by YouTube when we gain subscribers. That way, we can continue to make fun learning videos every single day. 
And for those fans who have already subscribed to our channel, a great big thank you. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We continue our trip in Germany. And this time we're visiting an old castle with Daniel Tiger and his family. Daniel Tiger is about to enter a castle full of old furniture and history. As we make our way to the castle, we find a flattened penny machine. We need one euro and a five cent piece. We need to put them in the right slots. The five cent goes on the right side and the one euro goes on the left side. Push it in and turn the handle. A copper coin gets pushed through the gears and flattened. And a stamp will imprint an image on our coin. It's an image of the castle we are about to visit. We need to climb the cobblestone roads. Castle, 10 minute walk. We get a beautiful view of the town. We could have taken a bus up to the castle, but we wanted to walk for the exercise and for the beautiful views. We are halfway there and we can already spot the side of the castle. There's a flag on top. It looks like the German flag. After the tour of the castle, we'll walk along the river to look for swans. This part of the castle is under construction. Years and years and years ago, the castle was struck by lightning, and pieces of it have broken off. Can you see that huge chunk of stone that has come off the castle? Castles usually have beautiful gardens and they were homes to prince, princesses, queens, and kings. Now we're entering the castle gates. I can hear the sounds of birds chirping in the gardens. Do you see any birds? There's a little one on the branch of the tree. There is so much to see and so much detail. Could you imagine what it took to build a castle like this back when they didn't have large machines to help them? They also had a lot of stairs, no elevators, and big fancy doors. We are lucky enough that this castle is open to the public. We actually get to go inside and see some of the rooms. Look at this big, beautiful ballroom. This is where they have parties and dances. And this is the chapel. Most castles had chapels. Time to climb more stairs. And there is some very old furniture. Most of it was made of wood and very fancy fabrics. Now it's time to head downstairs and go back outside. Look out this fancy window. There's the river that we're going to walk along after the castle tour. When we're outside, we have another look at pieces of the castle that have broken away. But it's still very beautiful to look at. Oh, look, tiny fans. It's a big bird. And it's only standing on one leg. Let's get a little closer look without scaring it too much. It's actually called an Egyptian goose. A lot of them live in Africa, but they've spread throughout Europe. Daniel Tiger is still on his tour of the castle. He finds a wooden horse in one of the rooms. And there is a guard. What's in here? 
a golden treasure chest. Shall we have a look inside? Two colorful jewels. And there's the king and queen. Visiting a real castle was one of our favorite moments of our trip. Stay tuned, tiny fans. We have so much more to share with you on our trip to Europe. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.